Mirrors. Oddly enough, mirrors have had quite the impact on my career. Some of my top videos on this YouTube channel involve mirrors. Some of my top TikToks involve mirrors. Even one of my favorite things to do is look in the mirror and see this big, fat, juicy ass. Today's no different. Today we're doing the coolest DIY involving a mirror. Let's do this, Dan. <laughs> I mean, I'm joking, but like, I'm not joking. Mirrors have just been there for me. Stop visually. <laughs> you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. What's up guys? Today's DIY is one that you guys have reached out to me on Instagram. I looked at it, I figured it's pretty straightforward. There's two ways I feel you can do this. One of them is way messier than the other, but I'm only gonna do one way. Today we're making a moon mirror like this, okay? It's a round mirror that has a crescent moon coming around the side. And if it works out, I'm gonna put it right here temporarily. By the way, guys, today's video is different. It's shot different. I'm not gonna show myself going to the store. Um, I'm just gonna show everything and what you need in the next frame. It's gonna be a good day. Yeah, let's get right into it, guys. This is how you make a moon mirror. Okay, so here's where you're gonna need to make your own moon mirror. Obviously, you're gonna need a mirror. I got this guy for $14.99 at the craft store. Mirrors can get expensive, so I didn't go super huge with this, but you can get these at craft stores pretty easy. Next, you're gonna need some caulking. I did not make this word up. I know you guys are thinking, oh, Dan's being mature. No, it's called caulking, okay? Make sure you get white because, well, the vibe of the moon is white. I know it's made of cheese, but whatever. I got two tubes. Guys, after filming this, I realized I only needed half of one. You're also gonna wanna grab a spatula. This stuff is sort of like cream cheese or like icing. So you're gonna need this to help spread it on the mirror. You're gonna need a caulking gun. And I learned out the hard way that this is not in fact a adult toy. This is for this. So guys, don't, don't put your, uh, just use it for this, okay? Next, you're gonna need some art sponges. One of them looks like sea coral, which will help us with texturizing the moon. And the other one looks like sea coral, but just smaller. <laughs> I picked up some vinyl gloves just to make sure my hands don't get any of this caulking stuff on them. You're gonna need to get a bag of assorted sized marbles. You can get these at the dollar store. Now these are what are actually gonna create the effect of the craters. And this is all you're gonna need. Pretty straightforward. Okay, so for step one, you're gonna take your caulking and load it into the caulking gun. This is gonna help get all of this stuff on the inside out way easier than the squeezing. You're gonna squeeze it until it stops, just like that, and that's how you know the trigger is at the very end. You're gonna cut off the tip, slap on some vinyl gloves to protect those pretty hands of yours. Then you're gonna take the caulking and basically just outline a crescent moon and then fill that in with more caulking, just like this. Now the texture of this stuff is sort of like string cheese. It doesn't come out like gushing out. It comes out in like toothpaste style. So just apply a healthy amount and you're gonna spread that in. Once you've filled in your moon shape, you're gonna take your spatula and spread it around like it's icing. This stuff is basically like toothpaste. Just spread it out until it's completely flat and covered the mirror completely. Then you're gonna take your artist sponge and this is what's gonna give us the texture of the moon's surface. Just sort of dapple it around, be random with it, just create texture. 3D-ness, we want the moon's surface here, guys. Once you've done that, you're gonna take this smaller sponge and just go around and do it again, just to create different little pockets of texture so it's not all one flat thing. Next up is the craters. This is where the marbles come in. You're gonna open up your bag of assorted marbles and just randomly place them wherever you want. This is gonna be the craters. So I grabbed the big one, I put it at the top. Those are just like accent pieces for this mirror. Get some small ones, just kind of scatter those around. And then I took the spatula and just basically surrounded the bigger marble with more caulking just to accentuate the depth of that crater. Just placed a few more around. And boom, just like that, we have craters that are in the making. Now at this stage, you have to leave the caulking to fully dry with the marbles in it. So don't touch it, you can air it out. It'll help with the speed of drying this stuff. But I left it for an entire night. This is day two. Ah, day two. For the most part, this moon mirror is actually pretty much completed. This morning, we're gonna take off these marbles and hopefully they've made some decent looking craters. You can see they stuck really well. We'll take those off and then the first half of this DIY is done. There's gonna be some things that I'm gonna add on artistically and functionally that'll make it way more of a, like a unique art piece. Let's take these off and see what happens. Let's take this guy off first. Okay, still a little wet. Oh. Nice. 
You can see that the mirror is actually shining through and it's still wet. So we're gonna let this dry a little bit longer. I'm gonna get some white paint just to fill in the mirror parts, trim down the craters so they look a little bit better. And then uh, we'll go on to phase two. So I went in with some white paint and I just painted the bottom where the mirror was exposing through just to make the crater look like it's whole. Now, since it's a flat surface, you sort of have to like dab it on and then let it dry and then dab some more. And I went around all the little craters and I filled them all in just to be safe. Once that was done, I took a knife and I just trimmed down the biggest crater's walls. I realized it was a little bit too high and it just didn't look too realistic. So and now that the craters have been fixed, this is essentially the moon mirror. This was the original concept, the idea. You got a half crescent moon kind of capturing half of your mirror. I didn't go all the way over because I'm actually adding a bunch of like stuff on the side of the mirror here. That right there is where this DIY was meant to take us. From here, I'm gonna add a few things that bring it up 10 notches. This is where you guys could stop and you'll have a perfectly good moon mirror. And this is stop number one. You guys can finish the DIY right here and you'll have a beautiful mirror. That's not where I'm stopping. I'm going with a vintage NASA theme. So I went on my Cricut and I know you guys hate when I use the Cricut, but it's my favorite thing. And I basically made a bunch of vintage-ish decals for the mirror. So this one says property of NASA. And I wanted to go with 3D, sort of like the red and blue 3D glasses look. So I went with a blue drop shadow for the bottom side of NASA, pop that on, peeled it off. And this just helped add a little bit of color. And then I went in with the top side of the drop shadow with red. So it really did give that vintage, also sort of 3D old school look. And then peeled that off and boom, it says property of NASA adds a nice little bit of color. Now on the outside of the mirror, I went with a quote that said, exploring other worlds, understanding our own. This just helps sort of even out the mirror. You got the crescent moon on one side and you have a quote going around the other. So it's just, it just helped balance it out visually. And it was just a nice sort of space themed slogan that I really liked. To top it off, I went with like an astronaut inspired ID plate. So I've got a little spaceship and then I've got my name city toronto ontario the iss international space station and then i've got a number at the bottom now this number at the bottom pause there it's not completely random i went and took the numerical order of letters in the alphabet to spell dream on and i put it into this number so just kind of a fun little easter egg whenever people look at it they'll think it's a random number but it actually means dream on now with the cricket i'm sure a lot of you guys that have them know that some of the smaller detail doesn't actually get picked up on the transfer tape all that well so the i in ontario and then the dots in the iss the acronym those didn't get transferred over either so i just went in with white paint a little poker and then just put them back in myself and there we have it that is my added stickers next we're going to actually paint the glow in the dark paint on the moon now that the stickers are on we're going to use some of the world's glowiest glow in the dark paint it actually comes in a powder and you mix it with some water and some super base i did a whole separate video on this stuff so i'm not going to go too in depth with it but i'll show you briefly how it works and you do two and a half parts of this with one part water just like that and then you mix once you have that fully mixed, you're going to take some super base, which is this stuff right here from the same artist and same art company, and you're just going to mix some of that in. Okay. Let's paint this on the moon side of the mirror. Now, this was a really cool added effect. I just took some of the glowiest glow in the dark paint and with a foam brush, just dabbed it around the entire crescent moon. Make sure you get the bottoms of each crater as well, just to show those off. Look at this, with a black light, this stuff just explodes. It is so cool, I love the effect that it has. And the coolest thing about this paint is that it holds onto the light. So if you shine it in one spot like this and then take it away, boom, you can just see it still holds onto that light. You can even sort of like draw with it like this. We're not done just yet. I think to accentuate the ripples and the moon effect, my airbrush gun, we're gonna put black paint, we're gonna shoot it at this angle so that only the sides of the craters get like really highlighted. So it'll actually be able to see that there's depth to this when you're just looking at it. Now it's time for the airbrush. This part you have to be careful because you got to stay on the one angle just to get the one wall. So I went with the bottom walls and just sort of sprayed black paint to showcase that there is depth to these things. Went in with some gold paint and again, just dabbed around some gold paint just to give it more of a spacey moony effect. And bam! Oh my god, it looks so good. This is what the mirror looks like in daylight. Check it out at night. Boom. 
This was the whole effect, okay? This mirror, when you shine a black light on it at night, will look like a moon just chilling on your wall. It looks so good with the craters. So you can supercharge it to show your friends with a black light, or you can just leave it and it'll totally glow itself. And that's what it looks like. It's sort of a dual purpose mirror. In the daytime, it looks cool, like this vintage NASA mirror. And at nighttime, it actually glows uh, to be a half crescent moon. So this wasn't a part of the original DIY. This is just additional materials I had that could boost this DIY in case you guys want to try it out yourself. So there you guys have it. That is how you make a moon mirror. Also adding additional steps to make it a little bit cooler. This actually looks a lot cleaner in the daylight when it's just one solid white color. I think you guys should definitely try this out. You can stop at many different parts, right? You can just do the caulking on the side and leave it like that. It felt like it was missing something. Yes, that's like a very minimal style, but I'm a huge fan of like anything vintage astronaut or vintage space theme. Vintage NASA just makes it a little bit cooler. Yeah, if you guys are enjoying these DIYs, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Every Wednesday, I come out with a new one. If you have any that you'd like me to try, please feel free to message me on Instagram at Danocracy or Twitter. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I'm taking some of the other DIYs that I've done and condensing it down to one minute and then putting it on my TikTok. So if you want to see more snack size DIYs throughout the week, go over to my, uh, go over to my TikTok at Danocracy and follow me there. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next DIY. See you guys later.